There is nothing more fulfilling than seeing the fruits of our labor. The psalmist in Psalm 90 verse 17 said, May the favor of the Lord our God rest on us. Establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. This is a prayer of submission to grace and power of God active in us and of promise to put in our best. This summarizes the work life of every Christian. What should we invite Mary daily in our work? The answer is not far-fetched. She had the greatest work profession in all of creation, being the mother of God, and she silently served Jesus for 30 years, worked for and with Jesus with her whole life and being from incarnation to death. Moreover, we have in Mary the wife of the patron saint of workers, Saint Joseph. Therefore, we can comfortably invite her in our daily work, in our offices, marketplace, businesses, and so on. A weekly, monthly, yearly work plan with Mary. Indeed, he who fails to plan, plans to fail. Having strategic plans helps us channel our mission, vision, and goals. We invite Mother Mary who channeled her life to God's plan to teach us what we must do. As we put our weekly plans, monthly plans, and yearly plans, we call on the assistance of Mother Mary, who was part of God's plan from the beginning of creation. We pray to her that we may conform to God's plan for our businesses and work, beginning the day bright and positive with Mary. Psychologists would always emphasize beginning the day on a positive note. This does not take away the fact that sometimes we start the day on a wrong foot or got up on the wrong side of the bed. A little prayer for positivity can do wonders. We pray to Mary who learned to trust God, no matter the conditions, to influence our minds with positive thoughts. We pray to Mary who ever believed in the power of God to help us abolish and not carry over the feelings, worries and disappointments of the previous day. We pray to Mary to help us start up with positive actions and accomplishments even before we head to our businesses, offices and works. The most beautiful thing we can do every morning is to save five decades of the rosary for Mary's help throughout the day. Knowing fully well that punctuality is the soul of business, 15 minutes of our time can be used for this. At workplace, office or business. While some may continue their prayers on their way to the office or business, some may decide to arrive at the door of the office or workplace and then commend the day's activity to God's hands. Without thinking, we have to pray all day long. A very short, simple prayer phrase can do miracles for us before we eventually begin sales or open the office. For example, O oh Mary, I enthrone today's sales into your motherly care. Or, O oh Mary, may every step and action I make today obtain for me God's blessings. Or, O oh Mary, help me to serve according to the mind of Christ, your son. Or, O oh Mary, help me to be honest and sincere today, and so on and so forth. Each of these can take less than three seconds of your time, and a combination of two or more can take less than a minute. These prayers can also be said anytime, during the day's work or business. How beautiful if we can commend the eventualities of the day into Mary's hands. Pray for the grace to amend our errors in the past and do things differently, or for the grace to accomplish better than the previous day, week, month, or year. Thank the Lord with Mary. A sense of gratitude is an act of humility faith and trust in God's providence and mercy. Mary's whole life was filled with these, and as such, she remains the greatest of all creatures. Our praise and thanks to God for his gifts and blessings, seen and unseen, done in union with our blessed mother, appeals to God more than we can ever imagine. Some are able to pray another five decades before retiring, which is more encouraging, while some say shorter prayer. In all, let us always channel our thanks for our work, business, accomplishments to God through our blessed mother.